Hi guys, Gary from Your Path Hacks here. This video might not teach you anything really new, but instead it aims to remind you or make you aware of a great functionality in Your Path Studio that is a bit hidden away in the UI and therefore maybe not used to its full potential. The Universal Search. Using the universal search is probably most useful in large automation projects or when you need to be looking at an older project of yours or one that you are maintaining but did not develop originally. In these cases, you either did not write the code or did it so long ago that it is not anymore fresh in your mind and you need to either debug it or make some changes. Just a quick note, this functionality is presented for the Studio 2010 version. so. Some behaviors are different from the 2019 version and in the future it might be modified as well. Now I've made this video because I personally find the UI Studio a bit confusing here. There is a search button on the top right corner where we would expect it to be, but it does not stand for search actually. It is called the command palette. And if you try to search there for a variable, let's say in config, we would not find anything. And taking a closer look, opening the command palette gives us four options, among which is the universal search as well. But you have to click on it first to actually use it. Anyway, the quickest way to get to the universal search is by typing Ctrl F. There are other shortcuts that you might find useful, like Ctrl Shift F, which searches for a file or Ctrl Alt F, which searches for activities, or Ctrl Alt P, which searches inside the project, or Ctrl Alt S, which searches for snippets. But okay, enough about the shortcomings of the UiPath Studio UI when it comes to search. Let's highlight also some positives. I like the Google-like predictive typing. Comes it handy, especially when you are searching for a longer argument name or when you are searching for a group of variables that you know start with the same first letter. And you can, for example, search for all the in arguments, provided you expected the naming convention in the first place. It is also really universal. It searches in files, activities, variables, arguments, imports, project files, dependencies, and even snippets. Another nice thing about it is that um, after you click on one search result, so let's say we want to um, go to the argument in the main example file and, and it jumped to the invoke get transaction data. If we import the arguments, we have the inconfig argument here. But let's say this is not where we wanted to go. If I just type Ctrl F again, it reminds my search entry so I don't have to type it in again. And I can just jump to the next uh, place where it is being used and so on. And this was something that was missing in some versions of the 2019 studio where pressing Ctrl F again, you had to again type in your search phrase. That's it. All in all, searching in studio is great, but a bit hidden away, I'm not sure why. This video was designed to remind you about the search functionality in your path studio and I hope it will allow you to edit and debug your automation projects a bit faster next time by using the universal search. Thank you for watching and have a great day.